All right. Let's get the shit on the road. Episode four, In Sheep's Clothing. It's been a while since we've been back home. Yeah. Feels nice to be back home. Point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. No sign of the broken arm. Try not to move. Oh God! We can't keep uh, him this way. Oh, boy. you had to oh. say something, didn't you? I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. <laughs> my you really freaking arm! My, my arm! <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. Uh, uh, please, stop! Please, don't move it, yeah. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much. He can set it himself. Are you freaking serious? Oh my god! <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> oh Jesus! Wow! <laughs> I didn't even do it. I gotta do it again. God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is agonizing. I hope you haven't just eaten. Oh. W. Oh. Had some gummy bears. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby could be in better hands. <laughs> I was and like, is that a pun? So, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin... You're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. He bounced him what? up super quick. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. <laughs> Just keep watch. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? 
Why did he take his jacket off before he performed all that surgery? It's a magic jacket. I don't know. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. Just fucking and kiss already. When arrived, you know him, he's I'm never thinking worried. that thing. And even he thought you were... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. You fucking asshole pig. <laughs> I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? Oh, he wasn't in and the last two episodes. who should I be asking? Uh, so he has no idea what's going on. Should I be about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder- Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... loan shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? This is about those girls, and it'll always be about those girls. Nothing will change that. We'll see. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. That'll do. I'm not hey, saying I'm do. the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. 
Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? <laughs> it's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. Yeah. Now, what if a Monday does see me, huh? If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. But we didn't burn the tree down. Wolf's residence. So that's rude. Get cheap ones. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay. I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always mm -hmm. do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Is it okay I with Buffkin? Probably Buff change out of these clothes. <laughs> Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let Bu me know when you're done with Nerissa. Buffkin's aye, aye, really Captain. useful, though. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I didn't want to say no or yes to that question. Yeah, he's your mate. A sarcastic bugger of a mate, but he's a mate. Most mates, most of my friends are sarcastic buggers. Well, <laughs> oh, next. Uh, I was actually going to say, isn't that right, Replaw? <laughs> In a sarcastic voice. <laughs> All right. Well, we're about to have a really interesting conversation with Nerissa, and this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I'll see you guys on the next episode where we see what she wanted to talk to us about in the back alley during the fight. So, next time. <laughs>